Well, we are back once again with Freedom Cry, Black Flag DLC. This is memory number eight, and I'm out. So basically, you spoke to the woman in the tavern, uh, Bastien, and she's complaining about people attacking slave ships. She doesn't want you to do some attacking, but. You're Adewale. You know, no, you're going to go attack an things. You know, that's what you do. It's in your nature. I would not so, mission starts. You're already on your boat. You enjoyed your and it tells you to reach a point. The work we do today. So, and there's two done, optional objectives that need to be completed to in this level. And yes, the first one is coming up in this first section here. Take less than 50% damage during the naval fight. As you will see, my prowess of naval victories and naval fights allows me to perform this with the simplest of ease. But I do suggest for any of you out there that are about to attempt this level, you have not upgraded your ship that much, that you should do that before you begin to try this mission. So I've pretty much almost taken out one ship and I've lost a quarter of one bar. Uh, and then I pretty much take out this second ship straight away there without losing any additional health. I decide to take out the last part of that one ship that I hadn't killed yet. And this triggered a cutscene, only a small one. Um, so the ships turned on the slave ship, no, they'll sink the ship and they're trying to sink the ship. So bearing in mind you can't lose 50% of your health in this section. I start off with a, a good old place mortar shot on a stationary ship. Doesn't get much easier than that. A little bit of chain shot into the mast. Lovely old job. And then Come alongside for a nice little heavy shot the side. There you go. That ship sunk. Done hardly any damage to me. So the naval fight is over. The objective is complete. So now we move on to the second part of the mission. I must admit this is an amazing setting for this mission. Like this second part is really was really enjoyable. I, I, I quite enjoyed the idea of... Uh, well, you'll see. You'll see what happens. But I've told these people to board this ship. And they keep shouting at me that they need to be urgent. Otherwise, everybody's going to drown. And yet, it seems to me that they're the ones that are not being as urgent as they possibly could. So I wait patiently as they pull these ropes in. And I notice the, the front of the boat. And I'm like, well, I can probably get over there. That, that'll be, that'll be faster than waiting for those to drag in that boat. So I start the second part of the mission. So this boat is sinking. It is in a very bad way. There are lots of holes. There is lots of fire. And everybody's chained to the beds. So the optional objective in here is to free 15 slaves. Or liberate 15 slaves. But I did not think, uh, after doing this, that it, was, that it was possible to even fail. So I'm not sure why that additional objective exists. Because it seemed like I had to free all the slaves to progress with the mission. So it's basically quick time events. I'm not a huge fan of quick time events, but these weren't weren't too intrusive and so it wasn't too bad to, to get done. It did trick me though, it went from being uh, a bash the, bu the same button until the, the circle appeared to a uh, button prompt single press which kind of confused me a little bit but once I got the hang of it I knew what I was doing. So I freed every slave in this room and that sort of triggered the next section where I'm trying to free these guys and the ship's not doing very well and 
everybody there just seems to have died which you know it's quite sad but you know I didn't let it get to me I thought I'd move on press on and free as many people as I could so back to more quick time events bash 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 must admit since I took over doing this uh, this DLC I I've not really had a mission where I've done a lot of fighting. It's kind of been... Like, the first mission was kill nobody, sneak around. Okay, that was kind of fun. Um, the second mission was like no fighting at all. Tailing people and changing a document. Uh, and then a little bit of a naval battle. I, I suppose I got to fight on the ships, but I haven't really got to use this, this big machete in combat. But it is good at freeing these people from their chains, as you can see. So, after all the slaves are liberated, you'll notice that it then cuts to the next part of the action. So the ship is literally now sinking. The water is changing its orientation, and it's time to get yourself out of here. So what's the best way of doing that? Well, the ship is very much underwater now. So it goes into the 3D swimming mode or the the like full dimension deep sea swimming, which everybody should remember from Black Flag when you, you're diving in the, the wrecks. So you've got to swim through the boat. I hadn't done much of this deep sea diving, so it was kind of, the control system was kind of new to me. But yeah, that thing falls near you. You have to swim past it. I got to this point. I thought that was where I needed to go. Was incorrect. Kind of messed about with the controls there. But you know, I got there. I got there in the end. And it was just round this corner. And there we go. We swim through into the next section. Now I thought this was really good. This little section that's coming up now. I thought, I thought the mission was over at this point, but no, you've got to climb out of the upright boat to get to your safety. It would have been better if there was a timer, just to, you know, add that little bit of extra danger or extra sense of peril, as they would probably claim it in a uh, a critique or something like that. So. You gotta climb up. It's a pretty straightforward route. I don't think there is any other route that you can take except for the only route. Um, but yeah, it was quite it was quite enjoyable to do this. It was quite enjoyable to climb out. It kind of reminded me of the old style of Assassin's Creed where you had the the churches and the temples that you had to to like you started at the bottom and you had to climb your way out. But it wasn't very long this section and there you go, you break out, and that's it, you swim into the surface. Lovely little bit of CGI here as he comes out of the water. In for your 100% sink. This has been Memory 8. I've been Al, join us again.